V equals IR now. It's your own's law. Yeah. And it uh, drives me mad, actually, because a law, I mean, you know, a law is something that governs behaviour. It's something we make up, like, you know, don't steal your neighbour's donkey, stop staring at his <laughs> wife's ass, that sort of thing, you know. We make these things up and they govern our behaviour and we think of a law in a certain way. For sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ohm's law is not a law, it doesn't govern anything. All that Ohm did was spend ages with bits of wire of various lengths measuring three things. The voltage you put through it, the current you put through it, sorry, the voltage you applied to it, yep. the current he put through it, and the resistance that he had. I mean, he was a really interesting guy at parties, okay, because that's all he did for years. So, <laughs> the most interesting part, uh, person at a party. Indeed, man. What he didn't know about tiny bits of wire weren't worth knowing, okay? <laughs> and after all this work, what he decided was that it behaved in a certain way. And he described this behaviour. Scientific laws don't govern things in the same way as stealing donkeys. They describe things. Okay, yep. Okay? Yep. They describe a permanent relationship between things that is discovered by inquiry. You don't make it up, you know, and then think, I'll tell you what, oh, yeah. I'll make this up, it'll be a law, and so it must do it. You know, that's not science. That's, that's, but when people think about a law, they think it must be like that. Yeah. Okay. And, and then, of course, it becomes complicated. Of course. Yeah. So the main thing to do is check out your head that it's a law in the same way that social laws are laws. It's not. It's just the description of the way stuff works. That's all. Of course. Yeah. 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 So, you know, why, why does a stone roll down a hill? Doesn't it? Hill. <laughs> It's, it's roll round down the hill. <laughs> it's gonna roll down. Okay. Now people go, oh yeah, that's a scientific law. It's not. It's a hill and a rock, and it's gonna roll down because it's inherent in the property of the rock and the hill. Okay. <laughs> For sure. Just a description of its behaviour. Now we can laugh about this when we think about this, but it's really important to get that. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes. So, any length of wire has a property. Resistance. Yep. Resistance is like we think of resistance. If I'm, if I'm trying to walk on a, clear, a cloudy, clear, lovely day, it's a beautiful walk. Storm Eunice is about to hit us. If I go on the beach right now and try and take a walk, I'm going to be like this. <laughs> go on, walk through. Yeah, why? Because there's something resisting you. Yes. <laughs> All materials like that. So everything has a resistance. A bit of wire has a resistance to electricity flowing through it. So it's playing an important property of that wire. Yes. And then when we apply a voltage, remember a voltage is like a hill. The steeper the hill, the faster the rock will roll. The more shallow, the less it will roll. Voltage is a hill. So if we apply a big voltage, we have lots of current if the resistance is low. Yes. And Ohm spent so much time working this out. He came out with what, this is what's usually shown. It's the triangle of Bermuda. <laughs> this is where students get lost. <laughs> you never hear them again. <laughs> so we've got V, I, R. Volts, current, resistance. I instead of C. Okay. <laughs> Which always confuses me. It is, yeah. It's I because um, C is also used for coulombs. Ah, yes. So it would be, it would be confusing. Yeah. Okay. So when we're thinking about current, we're not thinking about little resins, we're thinking about I. So it came up with this, because this helps you get that relationship. Okay. And that relationship is fixed for all materials, and we say V equals I R. Yeah. Or equally, I equals V over R, or equally, <laughs> R equals V over I. It yeah. helps you quickly work out the relation, that, that what you need to know on this triangle. Okay. So, top one, you divide it, obviously, yeah. V over I, V I, V over R. Yeah. Yeah? So yes. I, R, I times R. It's dead easy. So it helps it's you remember if you remember that little triangle, not what Ohm's law is, it's stuff Ohm's law, it <laughs> reminds you, reminds you what the relationship is. 
Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, well, yeah. yeah. It's dead easy. And it works either way, whichever way you fancy it. Yeah. Yeah. Now then, it puts limits on things. Ooh. Well, no, that's that's bollocks. <laughs> the limits exist, and this describes them. <laughs> the limits exist, and this describes them. If I want to I steal like this man's donkey, I can I, I can't <laughs> because his donkey's chained up. <laughs> Nobody's chaining up my neighbour's ass, so I can go and steal that any time I want, <laughs> unless there's a law to stop me. Okay. Well, <laughs> the limits exist, they're the wrong things. So if we look at this, we were looking at this toaster. And it has nothing to control how much current is going through there. You would think that's wild, because as much yeah. current as possible could rush through there, and the thing will just, you know, take the entire energy supply of the UK, go thermonuclear, and melt its way to it. China. Yep, yeah, exactly. It well, can't. Do you know why it can't? Because you're not believing in that. I think that's it, mate. <laughs> it can't because it has a limit on it. Whenever a stone reaches the bottom of the hill, it's going no further. What's going to happen? Yeah, Nothing. exactly. Jack. It's just going to go. Yeah. <laughs> and stop. And this limit is based on the material that's in here. The material that's in here is a bit of wire. Okay. That wire has a resistance. Oh. Okay. Yeah. We have a household voltage. Which is 230. 230 volts. So you would do... The current has a limit. Okay? The okay. current is limited by the volts divided by the resistance because of this description. Okay. So if I've got 230 volts... And you... And I want it to draw 5 amps, for example, what does the resistance need to be? Because the resistance is the bit that we don't know. Okay, so well we know the voltage and we know the current, mm -hmm. so we can do. Uh, what do I get if I divided by twenty-three? Oh, ten. Ten. Yeah. 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 What divided by forty-six? Five. Five. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so if I make my resistance equal to forty-six, I'll get the answer five out of this little sum, but I know that I need my resistance to be 46 ohms. So if I get my bit of wire, and I cut off enough length that it's 46 ohms, guess what's going to happen? It's... <laughs> when I plug it in to 230 volts, what's going to happen? It's going to heat up, I guess. Oh, it's going to be... draw current. Yeah, yeah it's going to draw How much current? current? Five amps. Can it draw any more? No. Will it draw any less? No. Why? <laughs> because that's what it dictates. The stone is at the yes, bottom of the hill! It's at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> yeah. The materials can only do that. You can't do anything else. They get a bit of wire long enough and that resistance <laughs> and put that voltage on, it's going to draw that current because the stone is at the bottom of the hill. It can't do anything else. <laughs> it's impossible. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. I did. I get that. <laughs> it is just a property of the material. Can't do anything else. It's impossible for it to do anything else. That's like the sun dancing across the sky singing happy rainbows where herds of wildebeest join in. It can't do it! That's all it can do. Oh, awesome. Because that's all it can do, there's Jack you, you need to do about it. Okay. You don't need to do anything. You're relying on the material to do it because the material is for the last well, 150,000 years has done that and it's going to continue to do that. <laughs> uh, it's just relying on the material yeah. and, and that's all you need to do. You don't need anything else on there. It's the same thing with this. You don't need anything else on there. You plug that directly into the mains. It's only going to draw a certain amount. Based on its resistance. Based on the resistance. Yes. Yes. If I make the resistance 230 ohms, it will draw one amp, and that's all. And never anymore. Yes, that is it. Yeah. So, when thinking about these kind of things, this is really important, because it helps you create the limits the material's going to have, so that's all it can do. You can set that in the safety limits for people, so that you're never going to draw more than one amp. It's fine with something like that at one amp. Yeah. 
It's just never going to draw anymore. It's yeah. fine with something like that, five amps. Yeah. yeah. Toast your bread, it's not going to do anymore. It's going to taste your bread. Yeah, that's exactly. why you have a five amp fuse in it. <laughs> Nothing else can happen. Yeah. I mean, you know, it might shorten the circuit, in which case you get short and the resistance drops to zero, which is why you have a fuse. Yeah. <laughs> but the design of the material, it can't possibly do anything else. Now, okay. of course, Ohm did all of this before we had alternating current. He used to use batteries. Well, actually, he used to use kittens and sulphur. Kittens and sulphur. You take a cat and rub it on some sulphur, you get a charge. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he had to do back then. <laughs> so, yeah, so anyway, measure that. Yeah, yeah. Every cat in the Middle Ages had big, wide eyes. Because <laughs> <laughs> they like their houses, people were rubbing them on sulphur. <laughs> they, they only had batteries. They only had DC supplies. Okay, so, so no AC. No, no. This, this was um, this is all relates to direct current. So the whole thing's all about direct current. Okay, it doesn't apply to alternate current. Alternate current has different characteristics. So DC is all push. Yeah, yeah, for but sure. Alternate is push and pull, like a a wave, like, like a, a swing, like a swing. Yeah, yeah there we go. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just like a swing, it's push and pull. However, you can apply this to alternating current. If the load, what you're plugging in, is just a resistor. So just a purely resistive load? Just purely resistive load, then you can apply Ohm's law to alternating currents. It's a good approximation because nothing is a pure okay. load. Okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah, yeah. If it's a resistive load like a toaster, there are elements of induction and capacitance in there, but they're tiny. Yeah. The yeah. bulk of it is resistive. So Ohm's law applies to these kind of devices even though you're plugging them into an AC mains, you can use it to approximate, okay? You, need, you really need impedance, not resistance, when it comes to alternating AC, current. Yeah. yeah, but we can talk about that later. You yeah. can uh, quite happily apply Ohm's law to an AC piece plugged in if it's pure resistance. Okay. Like, like these? Yes, indeed. Yes, just like these heaters. Yeah. Anyway, I thought I'd go through that, mate, because uh, I think there's a bit of trouble uh, people have with this, but the main problem is this idea of a law, actually. Yes. That, that's actually, uh, th this stuff, I mean, you know, pretty triangle with VI, <laughs> what's difficult about that? It's the Nothing. other bit, yeah. the idea that it governs behaviour that's difficult. It doesn't, it describes behaviour. I like that, it doesn't govern, it describes the behaviour. I yeah. like that a lot. What it does is shift it onto the material. That, that is just describing how that behaves, that's all. Yeah, yeah. It's going to behave that way, whatever you do with it. But a law has a possibility of being broken. A description of material doesn't. So that's the problem. That's, and you yeah. can't, you yeah. can't break that. It's, it's, it's just a material. It, does, it <laughs> does that. Yes, yes. Why? Because it is that. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's the real thing to take hold of. Lovely. Okay, this yeah. is easy. Okay, just remember that. Yeah. VIR. VIR. You're away. Okay. You're brain. Remember. Scientific laws do not govern, they describe. Awesome. Anyway, awesome. I thought I'd go through that, mate. I thought oh. it would be helpful. Thank you, mate. Thank no you, mate. worries, mate. Anything for you, you <laughs> know that. <laughs>